the crowds had been following Jesus all day, and it was very late, and they were hungry, but they weren't about to go home. So Jesus says to the disciples, well, let's feed them. And he asks Philip, where can we buy bread? And Philip reacts that we couldn't get enough of bread to feed these people, plus we can't afford it. But Jesus is giving the disciples and us a lesson here in compassion, abundance, and gratitude. The only food around was five loaves and a couple of fish that was probably this boy's lunch. So basically, as one of the sisters used to say, they basically stole this kid's lunch. Jesus takes over and he gives thanks with a very grateful heart and miraculously this boy's meager lunch became enough food to feed 5,000 people and to have leftovers. You see, when God is involved in something, everything becomes bountiful and more than enough. Our culture has become one of basically discontent, unfortunately. Everything must be more. It has to be bigger. It has to be faster, better, louder. You know, when you ask for a burger at McDonald's, well, it's, do you want fries with that? Supersize it. Hmm? If only I had this. If only I had that. If only he wasn't this. If only she wasn't that. As if more will make you happy. We've been lulled into believing that without the more, we are less as people. And that's simply not true. But it is a great psychological advertising gimmick. Jesus, however, calls us to be thankful for what we have, not to worry so much about the more. He sees no reason to dwell on what we don't have, nor does he see a reason to need more than what is necessary for our survival. And however much we have, be it great or little, Jesus wants us to offer it to God so that he can make it even better and serve others in ways that we never thought possible. The fact that most of us don't want for anything has kind of robbed us as a society of the notion of knowing when enough is enough. Most of our ancestors who went through wars and famines and very hard times, the Depression, etc., they knew what it meant to want. And they knew what it was to be satisfied with a little. And they knew what it meant to be grateful. And this gratitude prompted them to help their struggling neighbors, giving of what little they had themselves, like the boy's meager lunch. Jesus had need of it, and the boy gave it. And gratitude allows us to retain a sense of value in what we have. <coughs> Gratitude also teaches us how to recognize when enough is enough. God's abundance comes in unexpected ways. Five loaves and two fish became food for so many, and that was certainly unexpected. Sometimes God gives abundances immediately. Sometimes he takes his sweet time Sometimes he gives us only what we should have. Whether God's provision is immediate or maddeningly slow, great or meager, it is never to be wasted. Jesus tells the disciples to gather up the fragments so that nothing goes to waste. So whether you have been blessed with a lot or a little, not wasting is a fundamental principle of gratitude. So may we always be moved by compassion for those around us, always be grateful for whatever plenty God has given us, and always use any surplus for the relief of those in need.